Cheer up. Kunye. Hi friends and welcome. We're going to be working on our back break balls today. I've got Ty with me to be my demo guy and he's pretty amazing. I think you're going to really enjoy him. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. We're going to start with back break ball. So let's go ahead and I want to have him show you what it looks like first and then we'll break it down. He's going to do it from the side and he's going to do it from the back. Okay, back break ball. Ready? scary like it could hurt but the fun part about it is if you do it correctly does it hurt no. no it doesn't and it's really fun and not only that it keeps you safe the purpose of break falls is in self-defense or here at the studio how many times do you get thrown around all the time all the time we throw each other all over the place and so this is a way for you to be thrown and to be able to keep yourself safe so let's get you safe so starting out today, back break fall we're going to start at the very basic level and I'm going to have him start by squatting on his knees now you turn sideways a little bit, okay? Now, the reason he's gonna start here is so you can kinda of get used to the motion. Nice, close to the ground, and you can get out a blue mat or a, a panel mat if you want to work on that. But he's gonna cross his hands, and then the speed of your hands matters. He's gonna throw those out really fast so that he lands in this motion on the ground, okay? He's gonna hit with the blades of his hands, and it's gonna roll out to be like a flat. So it's gonna go boom, almost like you're swimming backwards. Okay, so watch. Hi. Good. He's going to do that a couple times. You'll notice he hits the ground hard. So he's trying to provide stern, stiff resistance so that it protects his body from getting hit. Hi. Good. One last time. Hi. Now, if you notice, he hits, when he goes down, he hits along this forearm and he hits really hard, but you'll notice that his back isn't hit. His your forearms are going to hit just before your back hits. Watch one more time. Hi. Right. See how that happens? And the reason that he does that is because he's kind of letting him, he's breaking his fall by letting himself slowly hit the ground. The impact is being taken by his forearms, not by the middle of his back, which would knock the wind out of him and really hurt. Okay? He's going to turn forward. I want you to watch this again. Ready? He goes straight back onto the shoulder blade. Good, again. He's really trying to nail, turn around for me really fast, turn around real fast. He's really trying to, forearms hit first, followed by the shoulder blades right there. Ready? Go. Scoot up just a little bit, uh, that way, that way, that way, right? This way. Yeah. Ready? Hi! There you go. All right, now. Um, go ahead and go back to the side view. We're going to go back to the side view, and this time he's going to go a little bit higher and a little bit higher. So as you get comfortable, what I'd love for you to do, do that until you're very comfortable with your hands getting there fast enough and hard enough. They have to be firm. If they're noodly, it's going to hurt. Remember, the tighter your tissue is when you make impact, the less it's going to hurt. So if you're really relaxed when you're hitting the ground, all of that energy is going to hit into your arms and into your joints, and it's going to hurt. But if you hit and you're firm, then you're protecting, it's like tightening all the ligaments up and wrapping a protective covering over the top of them so that they don't hurt, okay? So now he's just gonna go from bent knees. Hi! Again. Hi! Beautiful. Um, let's go turn, uh, front, front view. Hi! Last time. Turn from the back and scoot up a little bit. There you go. Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry. Hi! Pay attention. Slow it down and watch. Arms then back. One more time, sir. Hi! Good. Now, he's going to turn and do that again. He noticed at the same time he's keeping his chin chucked all the way into his neck so that his head, if he's going being thrown hard into the ground, you don't want your head ricocheting into the ground and causing a concussion. Okay, a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Hi! Okay, so that's eventually what you want to make it look like. We're not going to do any more today. That's just the goal of where you're working. I want you to really start low on the ground. This is a beginning back break fall. Please keep working on those tools, and as you get more comfortable, you can stand a little higher and a little higher, and you'll get to the intermediate advanced break fall soon. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Ty. Cheer up. Kunye. 